channel I hope you're doing well I thought I would vlog today because I'm not doing too much but I've got something quite exciting tonight for BMC Cosmetics so I thought I'd include that in today's vlog I was supposed to get up at 8am this morning and I was supposed to work out and get ready but I chose more time in bed I don't know what's wrong with me lately but for the past two weeks I've just been exhausted so I'm grabbing as much opportunity to sleep as possible. So yeah I got out of bed at half nine instead, didn't do my workout and as you can see didn't get ready. But first up of the day is breakfast with my family, well with my mum, my auntie and her friend. Don't know where the day is going to take me but I will be getting ready after breakfast and I do want to pop into Solihull, I want to go to Zara. I want to go to Apple and then obviously it'll be arranging and doing the plans tonight so that's exciting stay tuned if you want to see what's going on there so can we all excuse what I look like now because I've literally been awake for 10 minutes but I'm going for some breakfast so I'll see you oh, what? <laughs> an awful vlogger i went for breakfast and then i went into solid oil literally just popped into zara and apple like i needed to went with my mom so it was about an hour round trip when it needed to be 10 minutes but as i was saying i'm literally exhausted by doing anything oh i already can't wait to go to bed but i went into zara and i didn't get much to be honest i literally just got two things i love their limitless collection if you've not tried it you need to try it so this is just a little black bodysuit and the Limitless collection is like a ribbed thick, like such a flattering material. And then I just got the matching black leggings for there as well. Stretched them out and they're not see-through. So yeah, I just picked those up, which I think are going to look quite cute together with like a different colour jacket to break up the outfit. And that's all I got. I went into Superdrug and of course I had to get a Carmex. And yeah, I've literally just got home now. Got some exciting things here. The bodysuits for tonight for the BMC stuff. I'm going to run out now just to buy some snacks for later. And then I'm going to come home and get ready and sort myself out because I can't look like this any longer. And all the people who are coming tonight are going to come like glammed up and I'm going to be not looking like this. So I'm literally going to run out to the shop now, grab some little like drinks and snacks and then come home, get ready and set up for later. I'm excited. Um, I think that's pretty much all I've done. Not, I've been quite productive-ish. <laughs> but yeah, I'm literally going to go get sorted and then sort myself out. Right, so I'm covering my mouth because I've done my makeup but I haven't put my lip gloss on or my lipstick. And I don't want you to see this. But we're all set up. So tonight's thing that I've been keeping a secret is we're doing a photo shoot for BMC Cosmetics. Um, I'm just doing it at home with some friends and stuff, but I'll just show you the little setup. This lighting, I've got a backdrop in the living room. <laughs> Ignore the creases. We're just hoping they don't show up in pictures. And then my ring light as well. So the ring light, backdrop, other light. And then over here, I've just got the little models, um, a blue bracer, bodysuit and lashes all with their names. And then just some munches at the back for when they come. So yeah, that's my evening all sorted. So we're at the next day now. Last night was just a little hectic. It wasn't hectic, it was just getting things done. So it's the next day. I've not been too well this morning, so I've just lounged around. But I am just going to wax and tint my eyebrows and just have a chill night, do a face mask. I'm currently, as you can see, they're literally so overgrown. I haven't waxed them myself in about three months. I usually just do soap brows, but we need to sort out this shape. So, can you see? I don't even know if you can see how overgrown these are. So I'm literally just going to do that. I'm going to wax tint my eyebrows i'll show you what i use and how i do it and a face mask so something really exciting here the face mask club have collabed with me on this part of the video and this is just a little subscription service that they do so with inside the box there is a subscription for every month so you receive i think your choices are five seven or nine masks and it ranges from about eight pounds about 12 pound a month but then you do get a subscription of face masks. And if you're like me, I use one or two face masks a week. So this is great to keep stocked up. 
inside the packaging is just so cute so they're called the face mask club and their website is facemaskclub.com the packaging is adorable so just opening up the tissue paper and inside the box we have got a variety of face masks so in this box i've got this one here so it's a sheet mask which we love then we've got i think they are all sheet masks we've got an avocado collagen mask you know we love a bit of collagen for our beauty um, and vitamin e sold me at that so this is the one that i think i'm going to use today so we'll put that over there oh my god how cute is this packaging this is the ice and sweet bar sheet mask it's melon so that one's cute as well a cucumber yeah they are all sheet masks which are probably my favorite kind of masks so we've got a fresh cucumber um we've got a rose mask here which is gonna smell amazing we've got an acai berry i'm not great at saying that but i don't know what it does for your skin but i know that this is amazing for your skin and a lemon sheet mask so loads of really nice masks and i love the fact that they're sheet masks thank you to the face club for sending these out and i think it's a really good subscription even if you're looking at a present for someone uh, just paying this monthly for them is just perfect so you know that they're pampering themselves this is the one i'm going to go with today I could do the bit of a collagen boost because of all the makeup i had on my face yesterday what i do now is go pop my tint on and put my face mask on while my tint's taken on my eyebrows can't even get over how rough i'm looking right now but just thought i'd set you up on my tripod so you can see how i apply my tin i just use this little pot which is disgusting because i've been using it for years and this is just i think it's a wet and wild angled brush to apply the tint obviously my mom's a hairdresser so i have access to a beauty warehouse so she does get me these but i do believe you can get them on ebay obviously just be careful on ebay that you are actually getting the real products but it's just the appraised dark brown eyebrow tint and this is the appraised developer just a little bottle so mix those two together in this and apply with the brush get a bit of the squeezy tube and put that in to here i don't put a lot i mean you're not gonna be able to really see because the, the tubes thing in it not new but you can see that lodge there my nanny's coming around for a ride bath still waxing tinted i'm not trained in it it's just i've just been doing them myself since i was about 13 Every now and then I'll treat myself to like a lamination or something like that, but um, I'm quite fussy, so I just prefer the way I do them. So then I just popped a few drops of the thingy into the, the thingy, the developer. And then I just mix together, obviously with the brush. Now I know you can only put tint on for about 15 minutes and it stops developing. So I just leave it on for about 10, 15 minutes. And I just say, the kid's going back on a like staged return or whatever they're calling it brilliant for the parents but it's not great when you live next to a primary school like i was ill this morning and i've been up all night got woke up by screaming kids this morning so i'm just gonna take a bit on the brush it's probably gonna be easier for you to see me apply this side just apply them in the eyebrow shape i'm not very tight with it sorry if the lighting's just changed it's natural light today i just get a little i call these earbuds but i think they're called q-tips or whatever and obviously just run around to tidy that up it's going to be so nice to have a fresh set of eyebrows. I've tint them weekly, but I just haven't been bothered. I kind of wanted to grow them out a little bit because I'm really liking a bushy brow on myself at the minute. So I don't want to take them too narrow. So that's the one side done and I'll just pop it up exactly the same on the other side. So I'll just speed you through this bit. very very symmetrical and then what i do once i've applied that is because i don't want it to be too harsh at the front i just take off the front bit i like it to obviously develop a little bit of color on the hairs but i don't like it to stay in my skin so i just take that bit off and then i just leave these on for about make sure that that's blended i look crazy I used to film my eyebrows in like this, so can we just appreciate that, that I don't do that anymore? And then I'm just going to pop my face mask on. I have just cleansed my face so it's nice and clean. And I'm just going to pop my sheet mask on and let this chill for 10 minutes. Oh my God, is this not the scariest looking sheet mask you've ever seen in your life? Oh, is it going to mess the eyebrows up? Well, there's a will, Beth will find a way. I mean, I'm not going to look great. And these sheet masks are definitely 
so it would have fit your face but silly old me wanted to multitask that's the kind of things you learn when you don't have much time on your hands you learn how to get everything done in one because it's just much easier to do that sorry about the kids but i did tell you there we are that will do so that's using my collagen mask i do just want to say they i should have probably done this beforehand but they have given me a discount code for you guys if you want to join the subscription service i will pop it on the screen now and they will be linked in the description with the discount code for you to go and get your money off you know we love saving them coins so i'll pop that down below for you and i'll see you in 10 i must say i think this is the best i've possibly ever looked on my channel so i've had this on for about 15 minutes because i just got doing some other work so i'm just tie up mask off honestly look how hydrate my face is look at the glow i love to just pat that in get the most out of it hands are obviously clean as well i just wet two cotton pads to take off my eyebrows because i left them on for probably about 15 minutes because i like it to stain my skin a little bit but not too much at the front already that's give like a massive difference to my eyebrows just give them a bit of shape and it'll be even better once i um i just get a dry one it'll be even better once i wax right, so if you can excuse the lighting in my kitchen it is not great but i'm just gonna wax my eyebrows and i always do them in the kitchen don't ask me why i'm just gonna show you what i use to do it so i've got this miley wax pot inside i have just got rose wax again from miley that has been on for a while so i probably should turn that down Whenever I do heat it, I only put it on to medium for about 10-15 minutes and I use the outside so it doesn't all melt because obviously if I'm only doing mine, I don't need that much. Um, I use these wax strips which come like this and then I just cut them up into little sheets. These little tiny spatulas is what I use for it. That's the tip I used earlier. And then I just get out two tweezers because one of them's good and one of them's not but I never remember which one. And just some after wax. Now you can get little kits with the wax, the strips, the spatulas and the pot off eBay. Or so I'll put you at this angle. I hope you can see me okay. So I always start with this eyebrow. Don't know why. It's just what I do. So what I do is just get some wax on the spatula. Make sure it's quite neat and tidy. And just underline at the bottom of my eyebrows. I do usually have both hands because I use a stand-up mirror, so and I literally just go where I want my shape to be. Always get it in my hair, which is lovely. Use one of my little wax strips and rub it on. And then for the most joyful part, says nobody ever, rip it off. So I do this front part in two sections. Just to prove on you, my skin is extremely sensitive, so prepare for bright red eyebrows. Look how red they've gone already. I do wax the top of my eyebrows too, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that on this side. I like kind of do one eyebrow in total, then go on to the other. So I just wax around the outside. I always get scared with this bit, because obviously, can you imagine if I took half of my eyebrow off? Like I like my tails quite bushy <laughs> on my eyebrows because that's where I get a good soap brow. Off. Woo! You're going to see the fake tan come off my face. Not that there's much on there. And again, I just go over and take off. That. and then i just go ahead and do the other one it's nice quick and easy i'm not going to say painless but i don't think it's very painful considering when i've had them done they kill me whereas when i do them myself they don't seem as painful so again just underlying careful because with wax wherever you put wax the only way to get it off is a wax strip so like do less rather than more look like, i'd rather pluck out hairs than lose hairs <laughs> and then i just pop that on there again i really want to get the hot wax but i'm going to wait till i've used this wax tub ah! lovely obviously it helps to stretch your skin out but we can't do that 
when I've only got one hand. Oh my god, that was so painful. And you always have one side that's the worst. It's always the side and I always do it second. Then again, I'll do the top. Again, I just do literally the same on the top. It feels so weird. I literally haven't done this in months. I got to a point where I was doing it every couple of weeks. And I just really wanted to grow my eyebrows out a little bit. Not that it's made much of a difference, but... Woo! Jeez Louise. Top tip. Probably don't do this if you're due on girls. Possibly ten times more painful than it needs to be. At least I just go in and do the centre. And then I just get a mighty big wax strip and put it in the middle. The facials and poof! Oh my god. Oh, have I took off my eyebrow? Oh my god, no, they were just that bad. I grow such a monobrow, it is ridiculous. Just get some after wax on a cotton pad and just wipe over them. I always get it absolutely everywhere and then if I do need to just pick up some tweezers and just get any ones that didn't come out in the wax. Can we just look at this? Can, can you see that big lump of wax in my hair? So I'm going to cut that bit out. But anyway, that is the tidy up of the eyebrows can you see them obviously they look better once i've soap browed them but yeah that is it that's all i'm really gonna do today and like i said just edit the pictures so it's not much else for me to share but i thought i'd show how i wax and tip my eyebrows and considering i was at home today to do that i've brought that in to a two-day vlog but anyway i hope you like this video if you did please drop me a little like down below please do not laugh at my red eyebrows that i'm ending this video in but we wax them just so yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye